die. That's why we're here today. Israel will only exist as long as Mubarak exists in Egypt. When Mubarak is gone from Egypt, Palestine will partially be liberated. The biggest bugbear to this to the Palestinian problems is the Mubarak of Egypt, the rotten, corrupt fascists, backed by America, backed by England, backed by France. Mubarak is a dusty, rotten, fascist dictator of Egypt. And when he falls, then Palestine has the full support of the uh, of the Egyptian people. Twenty years' time, the prediction is that Israel won't exist. Twenty years' time. That's what the top uh, specialists in America are saying. Israel is a minority against the Palestinians. The Palestinians at this point in time are in the majority. The Israelis are in the minority. They're backed by five billion dollars a year to keep the war machine going. Israel is America's uh, policeman in the Middle East. It's the last bastion of American imperialism, Israel. Israel will last about 20 years, no longer. It got no friends in the Middle East except the King of Jordan and Mubarak. Long live Palestine. Victory to Palestinians. And without Palestine being liberated, Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, there will be terrorism, sadly to say. I don't agree with terrorism. But that's Palestine is the neb, neb, neb of the uh, terrorist troubles around the world. Once Palestine, that's a bugbear with the Afghanistans, with Iranians, with the Middle East. They're sitting, they're one of the richest countries in the world, sitting in oil. They won't forget New Zealand's support for, Pal for uh, Israel and for American imperialism. John Key just gave 500 million New Zealand dollars to support.